Hi everybody, here's Christian and this is TeamWorkCast. And I'm Gerion. And this is the sixth game of our Terminal Directive campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, the runner is slightly ahead at this point. Yep. We're both at the third uh, story pack. And, and you have one more of your case files closed. Yes, than I that's true, that's true, I do. Yeah. I just closed it, we uh, did it, I think, between the games. Uh, so this, the quest was to uh, see two cards, uh, score, score two agendas in one turn. one turn, which you did at the, in the winning last run of the previous game. But closing the case, I think, didn't change much mm -hmm. for me, because it was just, it would remove all the shadow teams, and I think yeah. I removed all the shadow teams previously anyway. Um, so no big changes there. <laughs> oh yeah, I draw too many cards in my in my <laughs> starting hand, so I said like yeah. discard one. Okay, pick one. And it was for gamble, obviously. Yeah. And again, we're starting with this obnoxious uh, current in play, which makes me pay double credits for each advancement token. Yep, yep. There is also something that we discussed in the last game that which uh, which we're not quite aware of. There is a third ability that you have unlocked on your pad. Which is whenever the runner takes a tag, yeah. at least one tag, yeah. you can put a card from my hand on top of, the, of mm -hmm. my stack. Which uh, I can spoil you now, we will never remember that. We will that. never remember. And it didn't matter anyway in the last game because I don't think you took any tags. Or I, uh, it, will, it will matter. It will matter in later games, definitely. <laughs> okay. So... Good. So this is going to be, um, uh, I think there's been going to be quite some discussions now because I'm about to unlock my pack and I'm going to get a, a very yeah. overpowered ability. But uh, more on that in a second. You, you probably will install two eyes mm -hmm. and get a credit. I oh, know you actually oh, got, you already, already got the, bang, I think the, yeah. uh, what's the, Beanstalk, Beanstalk, right. What? Yeah. What? Uh, this was a terrible start for me. Oh, wow. So uh, I'm running on HQ uh, because, because yeah. I want, you know, if there's one thing to rest, I'm going to make yeah, a reset. Uh, that will keep me out for quite a while, I think. I didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, getting rid of Joombug, that's good. And now I think I will trigger my thing. Enigma, and what's that? Can't tell. Some things. Okay, so now I'm going to open up pack number seven. Let's see what that contains. A new ally. The meat box is a new one, and when the chat space reses, it takes the form of a nightclub, all pulsing lights and writhing bodies somewhere beneath the ground. Maybe on Luna? You're not sure. You like it? asks a voice, and you realize there's an avatar reclining at a nearby couch. Of course, her voice is perfectly audible above the throbbing music, because despite all the signals your body's receiving, the nightclub isn't real, and you're in virtual space. Live feed from my favorite club, just like being there. Delgado appears abruptly, fusing into existence and bounding in the corner of the chat space. Hey, sorry I'm late. Boring work, thanks. Okay, here we go. Lesser, mask, Mask, lesser. You two meet, awesome, bye. She derezzes just as quickly. She speaks very highly of you, Mask says. You're not certain whether it's intended as a compliment or an insult. Anyway, I reached out because I saw how much damage you've been doing to the corpse lately, and I decided we should be friends. I think we can make some beautiful mayhem together. So in a pack that would, there, it does, there was actually quite a really good ability in this pack. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, what I have now, which is uh, whenever I, or the first time I trash, no, whenever I trash a card, it's put, been being put back on top yeah. of. And we were, we were a little unsure of how to deal with this uh, because it actually basically diffuses Scorpius' yeah. ability. It does. It's really powerful. And and it seems so pretty game-breaking. Yeah. On both sides, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for now, we just we, we we're not sure how to play this. We we just basically ignored it. We just said, okay, it gets put back on top of st the stack, but then Scorpius trashes it, stresses mm -hmm. it, and then we will change our ways eventually. But for now, it's like we just pretend it's not there. Yeah. And you get your score. That's good. Yeah. R and D still wide open though, but yeah. at least at least the current's out of the, the current's way. Current's gone. I got some money. Yeah. That pub is irrelevant. I can't say if one probably happened through the through the, yeah, through the data raven. Probably. Not. I mean, I, I could, but it's could it will probably give yeah. me a tag, and, and it's going to be very difficult. 
Um, something I really love about the seventh pack that we just opened is that you get uh, in contact with the mask, mm -hmm. which is w which was a draft identity, and also that woman on the on the cover. On the corset box, yes. So that's really nice to encounter her. Yeah. Sadly, her ability is, is uh, underwhelming. Uh, un <laughs> underwhelming, exactly. It's uh, I'm not sure really sure what they thought about uh, what what they're you did, thinking. You didn't, was that. you didn't put her in your deck. No, no. In, in any of the later. There's games, like two you? versions of yeah. her. Depending on whether oh, you're yeah, protector yeah, so or, or protector and, uh, predator, and none of them mattered. Okay, so actually, I achieved my goal here, uh, and that go <laughs> is also completely underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> that gives me two credits, I think, for every program I have installed. I think last turn, last game, that would have mattered, but this game is like completely useless. I get two yeah. credits. Yeah, it's very, it's a waste of the sticker, I would say. <laughs> Yeah, so s slowly we are filling up the stuff. That's slowly it's, we're getting into the end game of this yes. uh, this campaign. And that's uh, I have to say is what made this playthrough uh, real fun. Mm. Is uh, having all of this stuff on your pad and and having to to deal with all these kinds of stuff. So although we missed most of them, uh, was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think you shouldn't be like. Um, one shouldn't be. Oh, there we go. I scored the evidence collection and I get the Enos. I will get the Enos afterwards, not mm -hmm. right there, not during the access. Now you draw the, you do your your ability trigger, and then afterwards I will add Enos. Enos is now upgraded, mm -hmm. so I think I will expose your hand. Um, so yeah, I wanted to say is that um, I think you, for a narrative casual campaign like this, you you should. Put your your perfectionist uh, ideas of playing perfect games out of it. Oh yeah, there is there is a very nasty <laughs> HQ there. I don't really don't want to run there, <laughs> but good good for you. Just let me know. You know, basically what we did here is we just played it. Um, you know, kind of like we. It's it's fine to kind of maybe ignore some of the yeah. rules when it when it seems like it yeah. would ruin the fine the fun. Yeah. The objective was really to have fun, mm. not to be rules lawyers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, okay, okay, so that's a hedge fund, and then finally plugging up that hole. I think yeah, I and I, also I, plugging archives because I know you always play <laughs> sneak door on turn three at the latest. <laughs> That's true. It's a good card. Um, I remember distinctly the specific point where I was like, "Wait a minute, what kind of ice was an HQ?" <laughs> and I completely <laughs> forgot. I think it was Enigma. Okay, then. So that's, luckily, I joined the Force Activation Order, yeah. so I can I can tell. Oh gosh, no! <laughs> that's that horrible ice again. That's a good. That's a good central defense you got mm -hmm. going there. Oof, choice. Heavy size. <laughs> Mandatory draw for two again. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good. It's good stuff. See, I don't mind if mandatory draw for two. It's it's powerful and it's, it's good. But my ability seems like this. Yeah, in comparison, this bizarre net runner. It pales. Okay, so now comes the discussion, and I it will take some time, so we will fast forward this part. Uh, because we're not really sure how to deal with this, and I'm gonna tell you right away, we're gonna just basically ignore it. We're gonna um, make Scorpius override my ability here because I think that would be really OP, at least uh, at this point in, in, in the game. All right, the discussions so, are over. Yeah, finally, decided how to handle this. Mm -hmm. Took us a while. Yeah. <laughs> So now it's your turn, Gerion. Yeah, just um, after my mandatory draw, oh. uh, before my first click. Oh, I remember. That was a really smart of you because we were really, it was really not sure how to play this. So mm -hmm. um, the, the ability works like if there's three remotes, it doesn't really work anymore. Mm -hmm. So you just went ahead and just installed three remotes to kind of like get rid of the discussion. And that I thought, I thought <laughs> that was fine. That was a good reaction to this. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this was also something that my HQ basically <laughs> suggested to me. 
I saw a snare, yes. so I'm not going to face check those things. <laughs> and I didn't see any agendas, so I'm like, Ugh. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's very little agendas you can know in advance. There's just the evidence collection. Yeah. I do have a hedge, um, account siphon in here, but account siphoning through the data through raven. raven hmm. Without being able to break it. Well, you would just pump all of your credits into the data raven trace, get yeah. a tau counter on it, and, and it'll kill me eventually. And it's four tax for you then. Um, yeah, it's going to be uh, four tax. I mean, you will probably keep the counter yeah. rounds for for later because probably you don't have the scorch on hand. But but eventually, I will just die. But on the other hand, you're so poor right now, you couldn't get rid of them, so it yeah. would discourage you from playing any resources. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's it's bad. It's it's a it's a bad choice. To, to do that. Getting tech right now in your position is a bad idea. And I mean, the best case scenario for me is like, I, maybe I could get you below tr the triggering range for the for the snare, mm -hmm. and then I can get yeah. rid of the snare. Woo hoo! Doesn't seem like a great deal, but I think you will, <laughs> that that will give you quite a boost right now. Huh? I'm checking out the cards. Yeah, I don't know which I play, which one I put where. You just so shuffle them. <laughs> I, I've played techie share games for some time, so when I do things like this, I always shuffle. Huh. <laughs> one of the cards gets <laughs> nice. but It's still... It's, Maybe this now. <laughs> ah, now we remember my, my ability there, where you and you click for credits, I can also get yeah. credits, which is which is also overpowered. Yeah. Yeah. I think we always forgot about this, and I think this is like the first one of the first times we even remembered this. <laughs> Yeah, we're discussing how you trick, trick me in the last game into running into into a June bug. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Carry on. <laughs> All right, that's going to be a, that's really fine. I'm 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 happy to see some yeah. economy like this. Armitage is good for you. That mandatory draw. I would also be very happy about some economy cards right now. Hmm. Seems like it might be a good choice there. Oh! Oh, going horizontal. Hmm, even more servers. I mean, this is this is really oppressive, actually. Oh, oh I think I will know where this will go. Enlighten me. <laughs> on the on the data raven, obviously, that's a kind of like yes. Ah, yeah. oh, that feels so good. So you can now rest something, get rid of your credits. I think the, uh, there might be a, a Mr. Stone or Tulishin there. That would be pretty good. <laughs> My girlfriend comes in and wants to get access to the, the the fridge, which we are currently blocking. Okay, okay there is Mr. Stone, I told you. Whenever you pass a piece of ice. No, it's no, uh, whenever you uh, Grana ga ga gain um, takes at least one tag, oh, meet, yeah, yes. do one meet damage. So if I want to trigger the account siphon, I will get one meet damage. Yeah. And so that's pretty good. And you get rid of the stim hack. Good choice to get rid of. There's a little interesting rule interaction here because the account siphon stays around for as long as the account siphon run goes. Mm -hmm. So technically, first the um, the stim hack gets discarded. So y you can decide if you want to get rid of the stim hack or the exactly, account siphon. Yeah. It's something that usually doesn't make any difference, but uh, when you play uh, events correctly, you put them on the uh, in your play area and resolve them completely, and only then yeah. they get trashed. Yeah. So that's good. Now we have Mr. Stone around here, preventing me from getting any tags. Or at least making it very un, 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 unfun to... Oh yeah, I was actually considering if whatever I want to keep the tags around, because you only have three credits. But I thought, nah, it's not <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Uh, 
because the other option would be to face check some of the other cards with just three credits you cannot trigger the, yeah. the, the snare, snare. Is, uh, diffused Hmm. Tough situation for the cop to be. Yeah, I'm probably going to, unless I have a beanstalk or something, click for credits. I mean, you also have to make sure that that HQ is a bit defended. I did invest a lot in this in this um, data raven. Yeah, overwriting the data raven would also be a good idea. Archive beanstalk. Hmm. Archive beanstalk. Archive, beanstalk. Archive memories for the beanstalk. Uh, two clicks for. Yeah, for three but credits. Okay, now I, the, the funny thing is because the, the data revenue is spammed, it's just I can use a bad pub to, to get access to HQ. So that's very convenient for me. I always need my ring for, <laughs> for the access. I think I will lose it eventually. Uh, there's a Horde Home on hand. Such a good... There's some good code gates recently on, mm -hmm. on, on Wayland. They yeah. hurt. Ooh, armored uh, servers. Yeah. Yeah, Morsalus is nice. Cortum is nice. Good stuff. Even uh, Colossus is also nice. Colossus is also, yeah. Yeah, and anti AI and stuff like that. And also gets really big. Mm hmm. And so I'm making some more money with a hedge fund there. Actual gamble, I mean. There we go. As we as we prevent, uh, predicted, uh, making sure that HQ stays safe yeah. for now at least. Yeah, it needs to be more expensive than just one bad pub. Yeah. And also, you know, I don't have the code gate breaker, and if that's another one of those magical eyes, <laughs> that would be very very bad. Yeah. But it costs six to res, so yeah. If I were to res it, I would be broke. It's also bad. Yeah, because this game I'm missing out on my economy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, this, uh, archive memories for uh, Beanstalk is is that hurts. Desperate, that just hurts. Desperate move. Yeah. I was I kind of surprised that there is no, um, uh, what is this um, melange somewhere around? Yeah, there's only one copy in my deck. So <laughs> hmm. okay, I, that was funny because I was. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah, you I was just going my head through, okay, next turn I'm going to trash Mr. Stone. <laughs> and in exact that moment, as if you read my mind, you put an ice in front of it. <laughs> and of course, again, I'm not, I'm not, don't feel confident of face checking stuff because I'm yeah. super afraid of this ice. And he th he's worth protecting. Yeah, he is. He's, um, he can do a lot. But it's, um, uh, luckily, I'm finding my my economy cards. That's good. I see some uh, some agendas on your hand. Yeah, that's the uh, kind of happens when you <laughs> when you draw two with every mandatory. <laughs> that's true. I'll just draw. But at least you found a hedge fund there. And that's going to be some kind of scoring server. Mm -hmm. Bam! There's was an upgrade. KP Lin, I'm, KP, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes. KP Lin is a good way to to just demolish the runner's money. You have to trash her, then you have to remove the tag that she gives. Ugh. Yeah, she's good. All right, getting an Abnegay out, that's good. And the breaker suite is assembled. I'm actually going there now, second click. Is that, is, are, gonna, are you gonna rest at Todeshin? That's a, counting. Yeah, there's a lot of, lots of math going. There's uh, there's not too much credits in your pool, just ten. 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 
Ja, der ist der tolle Schiene. Oh, der Schiene. Oh, der war so eine Kampfloh, oder? <lacht> 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 And then KP Lynn. Das ist going to be fun. I think it's going to be a huge misplay that we're going to do here. Okay, ice ball. That gives me attack immediately now. And then you you get um, KP Lin. That gives me another attack. There is a bit of a discussion now uh, because we did, I think, two things too fast. So first I'm going to get attack from the ice ball. Yeah. And then I can still decide whether I want to continue. Yes, true. But actually I'm going to get two meat damage. I'm going to get one meat damage first for the ice mm -hmm. ball. <laughs> I like how you do the, the Jedi swipe. <laughs> you're not going to need that. That's not the card you were looking for. And now I'm, I'm being like really bold here because if you install the snare there, I, I'm, the game will be just over here. Um, but I decide I want to continue, so I'm going to get another meat damage and a second tag. I'm trashing her. And I'm getting the agenda. <sighs> And I'm removing the attacks. Yeah, you were thinking about Ines for the second time, but you don't have it. Yeah, I, I was thinking that I did. It's, I thought it was an ability. You know, so you, you tr try to keep all the triggers in mind, and so you get to the, used yeah. to, okay, every time I score, I have to check if Ines was scored and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, this time there was no Enos on board. I really like Enos as a character. Yeah, I mean, we talked about this uh, previously. It would be great if they would bring the bring her back in into the regular game. Uh, actually, it would be also great if they brought some other more of the other characters. Also, like maybe in Terminal Directive. I mm -hmm. mean, editing some of the story inserts that we that you mm -hmm. saw uh, in the past couple of episodes. And there's some really cool characters being introduced there. And yeah. it's sad that we just see Aeneas from all those characters. And also, I think it would be fine to to see more of them maybe in the future packs. I would love to see Brain. Okay. You're getting three credits. I'm getting three credits. That's good. Yeah, no more gaining money advantage easily on the runner. Yeah, it's difficult for you to to get ahead of, of me yeah. because of this ability I have. When you click for credits, I also get credits. It's clickless credits. Uh, the runner already have a bit of an advantage when it comes to economy. Mm. At least at, uh, when it comes to gaining economy. And so with that one, it's just I completely can run away. But you have that cool combo out. Todeshin and, and Mrs. Mm -hmm. Stone. Didn't keep you from scoring. Well, <laughs> the stealing, I mean. uh, it yeah. didn't, but it, it was yeah. expensive and dangerous. If I didn't have more cars in hand, that wouldn't be possible. Yeah. So I'm, I, I can now relax a little bit. I just need one more agenda, and um, so I can maybe draw for multiple multi, -ax um, multi access of um, for the maker's eye, and then maybe go through this horrible, horrible um, ice you get there. Yeah, that was that, that that run could have could have yeah. didn't not work. Like okay, I I kind of saw that you installed like probably this this card that we have there. That's probably the snare mm -hmm. um, because I saw you had the snare on hand. Yeah. So it would be kind of weird if you hadn't in installed the snare. So now you have to you have to you have to bluff me out, man. You have to kill me somehow. In getting two credits and selling another car, another ice. Yeah, I need to beef up that server enable in order to be able to score out mm -hmm. anything inside it. I mean, if I run in there, there's gonna be two tags already and two brain damage, uh, meat damage. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm taking care of that part. But also trashing those guys is super expensive. Is five credits or something? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> So the drop with Armitage is finished. 
Um, I do have the decoy that will help me against against any sea source winds. Sea source, yes. I'm, I'm looking really really good here. I would have to make some kind of really crazy mistakes. Hmm. So one more click left for me. Draw a card. Hmm. Make a cross. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good pass, Garyon. <laughs> uh, I can tell you guys, it's, it's the most weird thing to watch you play <laughs> because you, you see all the mistakes you're doing. <laughs> yeah. You never noticed while you're playing. Yeah. These kinds of things just fly by you. And it's, 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 it's only afterwards that you realize how, how forgetful you are. Also, or, or sometimes you realize, like, what I did there? Why was I so stupid of doing this? <laughs> um, yeah, hindsight is twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got another Amitage going on there. I have an Akamatsu membership. Still don't have the Desperado, but it's okay. It seems. Like it's yeah, going you're, fine. you're pretty well set up. I mean, farm is a little expensive. Yeah, but still. I think the only one yeah. century that you have. Well, you have obviously um, Archer, mm -hmm. but otherwise, I think um, Colossus is the only one, right? Uh, no, uh, Data Raven. Yeah. Data Raven as well. Yeah. yeah. Data Raven that would be with FM would be six seven to, to break. Ah, it's, it's substantial. All right, yeah, lots of money for me, swearing in money, and got, mm -hmm. even got out of Desperado. I don't think I've seen an IPO this whole time. <laughs> you have three of those? Mm -hmm. oh, of course. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's no economy cards whatsoever, so install for one credit, take two credits. Yeah, you need to wait for an opening there. Mm -hmm. And it's getting harder and harder to create one because um, I'm, I'm helping you money-wise. Yeah, so I decided to break up the monotony here and you just run there. You have to miss a stone here, so you... Uh, how does it work again? I forget if it... Yes. Does it give the meat damage when you get a tag or does he get the tags when you rest something? Whenever you take a tag, take a, de uh, take a meat damage also. Mm -hmm. Okay, I run into the Data Raven on HQ, really good placement here. So I'm running on a Mr. Stone. And what that eyes looks like in. Oh, that's gonna be Hortum. Hortum, yes. Hortum, okay. I think it's gonna cost four to credits to break through the Hortum. Actually, only three because you have a bad pup. Bad pup, that's true. And then I'm gonna trash this guy. Yeah. But yeah, you're helping create this opening that I need. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're making yourself poor. But I'm down I to mean, nine. Yeah, you're, you're nine at is, seven. Nine is, nine is okay. Yeah. And then I'm getting out the sneak door. door. Yeah. Creates another, well, even more money pressure on me because mm. I now I have to rest the eyes on archives also. Yeah, I'm in a tough spot right now. Yep. Let's see how much you you able to rest there. That's the last last click, so that will just cost me one um, back pop, and then that's gonna be another credit. I'm gonna get one credit back because I have Desperado. This could be the game winning access. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm not very rich, but you're not very rich either. No, so down to one credit again. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the way for you to recover is to click for credits, and that yeah, also plays so into my hand. Yeah. Ah, tough, tough spot. Yeah, I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> but eventually, all your economy cards will show up, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then it's going to be everything will, will come up, Girion. But my R and D is also really, really small right now. It looks like it's about maybe a dozen cards. Yeah, something too much less. <laughs> so I'm going for the oh. bank job here um, and on the unprotected cards. And 
uh, probably my hand is now full of agendas also. Yeah, well, I, have, I tried it, but yeah. I haven't yeah. seen one. <laughs> Which is unusual for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of luck. Yeah, run HQ. Uh, through Sneak Turn. Oh, yeah. Sneak Turn. Yeah, it just cost me one. Cr Actually, I guess yeah. it cost me no credits because it's one bad pop for one and one credit yeah. for the other one, but I will get one credit back. So, Oh, there's the IPO. Hmm. Mm, if finally. you just have money. Finally. Finally. <laughs> oh, there you go. No oh. problem. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Dean Stock. Garyon recovers. Yeah. Garyon recovers. So. I think I should have gotten a credit here, yeah, but I forgot. That, or whatever. Was, that was the much needed breather yep. for me. Yep, things are looking a lot better now. <clears throat> Drawing? What for? Um, multi access. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. want to run through that horrible ice that's, without that's, forcing that's access. That's true, that's true. Otherwise, I still have to, you know, the, I have to, I, for the last click, I can always access the uh, our yeah. HQ. It's, it's actually now giving me... Uh, Single access is for free is fine. Yeah, yeah. sure. Hmm, I think you topped like that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. It looks like it. But now I will actually, my HQ access will give me actually money. <laughs> Also, yeah, I wanted to also feed the data sucker so I can get through your horrible eyes mm -hmm. um, yes. cheaply, more cheaply. Yeah, because yeah build it up to doing the sneak door runs yeah. and the, use them all on Maker's Eye. I'm getting a crash base doesn't hurt. Now getting the credit on HQ runs with a sneak door. Yeah. I seem to be in love <laughs> with this <laughs> account. Uh, yeah. not, not account siphon, Scorch Earth. <laughs> I forgot that I have an ability. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can decide between the Shure Gamble and the Stim Hack. You decide to, to give me the Shure Gamble. Tough, tough spot. Whenever you, whatever you put in the server, if you want to score it, I will be able to get through at this, at this credit level and also bad, two bad pups. Although you do have a lot of money. 23. Yeah, a little bit more than I have. Not enough for not a Caesar in, score. Not enough, you know, especially not with decoy. And grass space. <laughs> that mm. requires a lot of thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Probably have like. Hmm, two, there's a data raven that server. That's interesting. Two grafts on hand. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I mean, once, once, whatever. Yeah, YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. Oh, yeah, I just realized that the, the flavor text yeah. on decoy. <laughs> It's so what, is, what is it again? Really? Uh, I think we got the wrong door or something. <laughs> Why do you think so? It's the curlers. <laughs> <It's the curlers. laughs> <laughs> again, I, I really hope they will really to bring out a runner that looks like this. That would be the most hilarious thing. <laughs> yeah. Deco is, Deco is really gra great. It's a good example of, I think discuss this at this yeah, point, it's a good example of like a very cartoony card from the course. Yeah, and it's, there's uh, only a few of them and they've basically abandoned the cartoony art style mm. uh, after the course. Set and the well, they bring it back eventually yeah. every now and then. Like for example, the illegal sales that is, came out in Terminal Directive mm -hmm. with a little yeah. kid trying to buy something very illicit. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, usually they're going, yeah. they're going. But I, I really like how the art set evolved. Like some of the core set cards, like Stim Hack, I think could do yeah. like the re rework. Doesn't look that hot to these days anymore. 
Oh, you, you're inching forward in, in forward mm -hmm. in your yeah, only in two your... and only two click two draws left before I can close this file. Two boxes, and I think you will also get something very underwhelming. You, you can look for a card from R and D or something. Yeah, uh, it's not that important. It's yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. It's it's something like a fast track. Hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. that's a, that's a fascinating choice. I guess you. You don't want to get in count siphoned? Hmm. Yeah, plus, um, uh, like I said, I think I'm pretty much flooded. Hmm. So any HQ access is... But on the other hand, it would, would probably have been better to put this on archives, right? To, yeah, to, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, but on the other hand, that's what I want, right? Yeah. I want I want you to protect something stupid yeah. so I can then deinstall and yeah. then you have to waste all your ice. Yeah. And then I make a normal run, not through sneak door. Yeah. Because I saw that your R&D is getting very thin, so I thought like, okay, maybe there's some agendas in there. And yeah, there is a yes. graph that you yeah. put in there. Yes, I had to I had to discard one. And oh, there was two more that, two I, more agendas, on, that uh, I missed on, on, on my yeah. HD access. Yeah. Um, so, um, by the way, I the first time I edited this, I thought I made a mis misplay there. Mm -hmm. um, because I thought Mr. Stone is the one that gives you tags. Mm -hmm. But apparently we played it correctly, yeah. at least in this regard. There's okay. lots of other misplays yeah. that I'm sure we did, that we did here. So I was getting really <clears> nervous <throat> because like, oh my gosh, yeah. that means I maybe I won without without mm. um, uh, but yeah it seems good but so I got Ines here so I will open the last story pack yes. next I, also, I'm progressing my story as well because now I have the fourth game loss yes so, so now you will um, get some boost from your yes. friends and that's that's actually uh, we didn't really have haven't really talked about this but this is I think an interesting mechanic yes so if you if you win too much you're getting a little bit slowed down and if you lose too much you're getting a boost I think yeah. that's something that the they handled really well. Yeah, I think um, there's there's more improvement in terms of what kind of yeah, boost you get. Yes, and the, the corp gets a really great boost. Yes, the, the boost that I'm getting now is really, really good. Okay, but we're not going to discuss yes. right now what it is. Then we're going to move on to the next game and you will check out what the boost is in the next episode. I hope you'll join us next time around. And as always, hack the, the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and yeah. get in the car! Shit on me. I feel like I have to really apologize for all those misplays. Uh, it seems like maybe the beer starts to work because you know some of the plays are really inexplicable. Uh, but yeah, it's time for our Patreon shout out. And today's Patreon shout out is going to be to uh, Skatberg, who joined us on uh, actually quite recently in February 2017 at a time where we're actually not really publishing a lot of stuff. So thank you for your support, Skatberg. I really appreciate it a lot. And as always, you can support us down there at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet. Otherwise, see you next time around, guys.